Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to create a folder for either iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus on iOS 10. Now the process is actually pretty similar to how it's been in the past, although there is one big difference I'll discuss in the video. So first, let's say if I want to create a folder and I want to combine the Clock app with the Notes app. All you're going to do is you're going to select one of those apps and you're going to hold down on it. And then once the app starts to wiggle, once you have these X's in the corner, you can drag it on top of the app that you want to create the folder with. So just make sure it's dragged directly on top of that app. And then you see we created a folder, so I'm going to let go. And I can also change the name of the folder right here. Uh, you see by default they called it Utilities because these are both utility apps. If you use two games, if you drag two games together, then it will be called Games. But I'm just going to call this, I'll just call it Tools. And then you press Done. So you see now I have this folder here. Uh, the app is still selected, it's still wiggling, so you just press the home button, and now it's reverts normal, and then you can press the home button again, and you see here we have that folder. Now I mentioned that there is one big difference, and that's because with these phones you have a new feature called 3D Touch. So basically you have to make sure you're holding down lightly on the app if you hold down too hard like this. You see now the 3D Touch features take effect, uh, but if I hold down lighter on it, then I'm able to drag wherever I want. So again, just make sure you're not holding down too hard. Uh, I do a video tutorial on my channel if you want to check that out. And it covers 3D Touch. But again, just make sure you're holding down lightly on the app. And then just drag it. And you see here, so I'm moving weather in here. So I have now three apps in the folder. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe for more tutorials in the future. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions.